Holla ballers is preacher, and let's get on with your 5.2 update for the Guardian Druid. Hey guys, okay, so we're looking at the Guardian Druid today. A lot of people who are strict followers of the channel are probably looking for me to berate this class right now and I'm going to mass tirade. That, of course, is not going to happen. I'm going to save that for a comparison video to give my overall thoughts and opinions. This is a guide. I'm looking to make you guys better if you've got that Guardian Druid. Hopefully, I can help you out a little bit. So, 5.2. It was pretty well known that the Guardian Druid was the most abandoned and underutilized of all the tanking classes, sadly enough. Which is a shame. Which is a shame as Mr. Pandaria did bring out the fourth talent specialization for the druids, allowing them to go specifically tank. If you joined in Mr. Pandaria, it used to be the case that the druids did not have their own tanking talent tree and were mixed in with the kitty cats. But now they have their own one. And that should have been the dream come true. Unfortunately, not to be so. It used to be that the Guardian Druid was in fact a mismatch. Pulled every little slice of the other classes and mixed them all together to try and form the true hybrid spec. And that is still pretty true, actually. That is pretty damn accurate. Is the, the Guardian Druids are the only class really holding on to their habitual hybrid ways. Still trying to make themselves to be the absolute baller of all different uh, aspects of the game. Not quite worked out as, as well as it could have done, but nevertheless. The big thing is a big boost to armor to try and give them some sort of reliable pl place in the tanking classes amongst those other five gangsters, but not quite worked out yet. The big thing is your gearing. Your big gearing, a lot of people looking at big feral druids, of course, even guilds, the top guilds in the world like Paragon, still rocking and rolling with a Guardian Druid, so they are fully viable to do all the content in this game. You are looking to really push crit as hard as possible. Critical strike rating, very similar to, similar to the monks there, where an offensive stat actually turns into your most defensive stats, which is uh, a little bit unusual for me as an old school uh, WoW player, but that is the way it is, and that is how it's going to be. The extra rage generated through those crits, giving you all that extra ability to go ahead and fire off more savage defenses and more frenzied rejuves. It's all about getting that rage to spend more of it. The more rage we have to spend, the more defensive we can be. Critical strike rating is the way to go. So people are going to be asking the classic question when it comes to the Guardian Druids, what about dodge should we be reforging to dodge should we get as much dodge as possible absolutely not it's just not the way to go dodge in mr pandaria suffers massive diminishing returns which is really really quite sad aiming for dodge is going to screw you over you just cannot reforge enough of it to make it worthwhile in comparison to things like critical strike rating of course you're going to be grabbing those hit and expertise caps early on and then getting as much crit gemming for crit as possible that is how we rock and roll with our guardian druid so we'll get all the extra rage to throw in there when it comes to dodge we're really going to leave it alone. We're going to leave it absolutely alone. That Savage Defense, given that 45% base extra dodge, is what we're going to go for. Essentially, with this current build of crit and hit expertise, we can keep that bad boy up almost 100% of the time and have a big ass 45% dodge without having to waste stats elsewhere. It is the way to go, people. It is the way to go. There wasn't any major changes, really, in 5.2. They're not quite enough to bring the Guardians up to where they need to be. But they're still a solid tank, they're still very effective, and they are very, very viable for all the content in the game. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Perhaps the other tanks are better at it, but we'll look at that at a different time. Go ahead, get your hit and expertise caps, guys. Get that critical strike rating. Do not worry about your dodge. It all comes from Savage Defense, which is one of your cooldowns to blow there along with your frenzied Reju. And be sure to take full advantage of all your cooldowns. A couple of pitfalls people running into is that... In order to try and make sure the Guardian Druids are competitive, Blizzard has thrown an absolute buttload of cooldowns at them. You have all sorts, Nature's Vigil, Renewal, Incarnation, you have Berserk, all these cooldowns. Using them together is pretty insane. Pretty crazy. You're going to see some few examples of that in the background. Mixing in Incarnation and spamming Thrash, whatever it might be. The final thing I wanted to touch on this is people get very confused about the use of Thrash and Swipe and what should they be doing. Of course, Lacerate, Mangle, Thrash all have these cooldowns and of course we have our Maul, which is a very powerful ability, stopping, uh, reducing the damage of the next auto attack when it procs. All these kinds of things are really cool, but of course they have cooldowns associated to them, so what do we use the most? 
In general, Swipe actually becomes one of the most useless spells you have at a pretty early gear level, which people are going to go, uh -huh, Really? Yeah, it does. It really, really does, especially under the effects of Incarnation. Once your critical strike rating reaches a reasonable level, I'm talking if you started to do some mid-level LFR, moving onto the Throne of Thunder LFR and higher, that actual base attack of Thrash, discarding the dot it does, actually hits tremendously more hard than Swipe itself, which some of you will find interesting, especially when you pop Incarnation and you can in fact just Swipe Thrash. All you're going to be doing there is mixing in some Mangles, mixing in some Thrashes, generating a ton of Rage to keep your defenses up, and doing outrageous amounts of damage. One thing that can be said for the Guardian Druids is when they call upon that Mother Nature to kick some ass, they really can kick some ass and do some incredible DPS. No doubt about that whatsoever. Swipe, I just wanted to make this point, does become pretty useless. You're going to be using it when you're not under the effects of any cooldown, if you're doing some AoE tanking. But in general, even in AoE, your priority is still to mangle, to get all that rage, and to keep Thrash on cooldown. And Swipe should be necessary if you want to use it other than that. But mangle and Thrash, definitely big priority. And Swipe lagging away behind there once you get to that middle level of gear. Not a big deal there. Keep looking at your 5.1 guides. You're going to be fine, guys. Everything's okay with the Guardian Druid. I just have a few concerns overall, and we'll get into that at a later date. You take it easy, ballers.